Hello friends! Welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. Today we are on day number 41 of our 1001 tarot spreads. This one is looking at the month ahead. It is a four card spread with each card corresponding to a week in the coming month. Again, these are examples of how you can use tarot differently by using different portions of the deck, different spreads, different numbers of cards. This is not necessarily a, this is the only way to do things. This is a possible way. For this spread, we will be using the Wizard's Tarot again. And we're going to get right into it. For this spread, we will be using the Minor Arcana only. So that would be Swords, Wands, Cups, and Pentacles. We're keeping the major arcana out because this is looking for the more down-to-earth, mundane things of what is happening this month. This isn't the world-shattering phenomena of the, the greater powers of the universe. This is what can I actually take action on this month. That being said, I've already pulled out the major arcana to facilitate this. And we're going to shuffle the minor arcana up. Okay. And week one is the king of cups. Week two is the ten of cups reversed. Oh my goodness. Week three is the Six of Cups. And week four is the Two of Cups. That's a heck of a lot of cups. Considering these are all cups, I think there's going to be a lot of emotional turbulence this month. Week one being the King of Cups. Emotions are good. They're in check. You are in control. You have a pretty even going week. There might be some stuff simmering under the surface. Uh, just like if you look in the at the picture, you see the king is on his throne, literally in the middle of the ocean. Waves are coming, they're, they're moving, but you are in control of your vessel. Number two, the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is typically the completion of something at home. It is enduring joy in family life. Being reversed, something that you were expecting to be certain and finished, isn't. So in the second week of the month, expect some sort of needing to restart or renew something in terms of your home and family life. Something that you thought was done with, that you had finished having strong emotional responses to, it's going to come back up. Card number three, or the third week in this thread, is the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is nostalgia. It's looking back on things fondly. So expect something to show up in the third week that reminds you of good times. Just looking at the image, we see what appears to be a mother passing on something to their child. Expect some sort of nostalgic communication from an older family member. Week number four is represented by the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is something coming together, often romantically but does not have to be romance. It is some sort of healthy connection between two individuals. Expect either a new relationship to pop up, a new friend, or a deepening of a relationship that already exists. Something that helps you feel comfort and fulfilled. That is reading number 41 the month ahead. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, a comment. If you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. 
And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.